Hi, my name is Evie Williamson Moore, and I am the director and founder of the Outstanding Stars Dance Team. Uh, you are at Galaxy Studios, and here are a few of our Outstanding Stars dancers. Bunch of them right now. We got a couple of them here. Uh, 
They are truly band sisters. They do everything together if you let them. Uh, they love being around each other and of course dance. We, they do ballet, jazz, tap, hip hop as classes. We also have a dance team, which is a performance team. And you'll see what they do is something like a parade style of dance and then HBCU style of dance. We take them to Atlanta every year and they get to go to HBCU camp and they get to experience what it's like to be a dance, or getting ready to go on a dance line at an HBCU camp. It is intense, uh, 13 colleges are represented there, but they get up at 5.45 in the morning and they go and stay all day. And at the end of it, they can't tell you how much they enjoyed it and how much they learned and the connections that they made that our hope is that it'll carry them through college. We, um, a lot of people don't know that dance can uh, unfold opportunities, scholarships when they go to college. So we want to expose that to them early and let them know that it, even though it may be a recreation in the past time now, it can definitely open doors for you later. Okay, so you have survived the shutdown, and how have you done it? What has been your major, major pivotal turn? Uh, our pivotal turn was initially um, when for everything kind of happened. It kind of happened suddenly. We were at practice one week, and the next week we weren't at practice. It was like, oh, should we go back? Should we not go back? And for the safety of our girls, of course, we made the decision not to go back. Um, our story is a little unique because at the same time that that was happening, we were still in the process of finishing up our now permanent home. We were still finishing up our studio, so uh, we kind of had to stop everything. And, but the most important thing was to keep our girls engaged and to keep them, um, I guess, comfortable and confident throughout this whole process. I know they were at home bored and they was like, what are we supposed to be doing? What are we supposed to be practicing? So like so many, we turned to Zoom and we uh, started doing virtual classes with our girls and we kind of let them kind of, we didn't teach them anything new. We just kind of like, what do you guys want to work on? We uh, reached out to a couple of online programs that allowed them to log in when they wanted to and touch up on some stuff. And um, I would kind of monitor that and have a conversation with them. And we'll do some Zoom calls and be like, how are you guys feeling? And just so we could see each other's faces. Because again, we are a dance family. So it wasn't the girls, it was the parents as well. It was like, we ain't seen you in forever. Oh my God, what are you doing? Our girls start doing, I know the anonymous TikTok. They were doing TikToks and we were posting those on our Instagram. Um, and they were doing other stuff at home that kept them kind of sane uh, throughout the whole process. So it was pivotal in the point that we kind of just solidified the fact that we had a great core of parents and girls that were committed to what we had started and we knew that when we got opportunity we we're going to be able to start right back up and we have so far we've had we've had much success and pretty much bringing our girls back we're kind of keep we're keeping it small so we only let, let about 10 come at a time uh, with with their classes uh, we haven't really started back up the whole performance team yet because again that's a lot of more girls and that's a lot of more commitments and because there really aren't opportunities to perform we don't want to overwhelm them just coming back so we keep it small but we also keep it strategic we want everything that they're learning will continue to benefit down the road so just like i said um being in our new studio has been very exciting for our girls it's something been a long time coming and it just again just gives them that the solitude of having their own space that they can call their own and being a part of a community. A lot of our girls did community service. Um, they handed out food uh, during this time. So it was just a great time to reflect. It was a great time to take a deep breath and to recalibrate and say, okay, how do we want to go forward? And what do we want to accomplish? So that was one of the pivotal moments, but it was one also one of the great things too. Financially, we had to kind of slow down, but we survived. We survived, and again, that's because 
We have a great core of people who believe in what we're doing. We also have a non for profit um, that we were able to kind of work under. We kind of work on that and that piece. Like I said, with the community service and the different opportunities for our girls, we were able to give back in that time as well. Uh, we are on Facebook. Um, it's uh, Shine Outstanding Stars. That's our page. You can find us on Instagram at out, and it's with a Z. I'm sorry, Outstanding Stars with a Z. And then we're also on Instagram, Outstanding Stars with a Z and an underscore. And you can always just Google us, <laughs> Galaxy Studios. If you Google Galaxy Studios, it bring us right, bring you right to um, where we are and what we're doing.